As you guys know, my two favorite things to talk about are probably employee experience, um, intranets and communication and things like that, as well as, of course, uh, AI and Copilot. And what better way to talk about those than when they get combined together? When you have the power of Microsoft Viva combined with the power of Copilot for Microsoft 365, and you jam them and crush them and blend them together, you get some really interesting and exciting results. And that's what I want to talk about today. I want to talk about Copilot for Microsoft 365, when you have Microsoft Viva and you're licensed for it, for the Viva suite, and how those things blend together in really exciting ways. So let's talk about this from a really simple example. One of the things that Copilot provides is helping you catch up with what's going on across the organization. So what happened in a meeting recently or you know, what you might want to follow up on uh, in your organization. But of course, it also provides signals and data from places like Viva Engage, helping you understand what are trending topics and conversations and how you might be able to participate in them. In this example, we see that there's a question around one-on-one -on -one meetings and the difficulty of prioritization and discussing prioritization with your manager. So let's use that as an avenue to explore more. We're going to choose to learn about prioritization here, and we're going to see that Copilot is going to aggregate signals just like it does when I'm preparing for meetings or doing other activities across the organization from many places. It's aggregating signals in this example coming from our uh, Viva Engage experience, helping us understand what are all of the um, posts that are revolved around the term or topic of prioritization. We can also see things around sentiment because I'm a leader in the organization. So I have leader capabilities, uh, you know, capital L leader capabilities in Viva Engage. And so that helps me understand how people are um, you know, talking about these topics and how I can engage with them. It also gives me some interesting insights. We have a marketing priorities document with some top initiatives. So that's a SharePoint data signal being mapped right against a Glint one. Again, I have access uh, in Glint to see things like our employee scoring uh, to understand prioritization was a piece of feedback that is negative, meaning that we need to do better on prioritization and that it had an impact on collaboration and work-life balance. So it's actually a really good highlight. Prioritization really is probably something that there's some meat to where there's some ways we can improve it based on direct signals from something like Viva Glint uh, and of course indirect signals from something like Viva Insights like you see in the last example with the hybrid workforce report suggesting that there has been one-on-one uh, -on -one time with managers decreasing and then that decrease might lead to a lot of prioritization angst or gaps because again a lot of people get that prioritization uh, guidance and alignment from managers. This is one of many examples but it really starts to show you what you can do take uh, something like goals and what you could do with that data. I could then take that and say, well, let's look at all the goals in the organization that deal with prioritization. And maybe we need to get new emphasis on Viva goals to calibrate and understand like the cascading flow of priorities and how we can improve that. Because of course, Viva goals is a huge tool for improving prioritization and the employee experience. The idea here is that we can use the employee experience capabilities of Viva alongside our experiences in something like Copilot, not just allowing us to understand things, but to action it. Um, so let's talk about an actionable example. Uh, in that previous one that we just had, let's say I want to help align and set some goals based on some new targets I've been given. In particular, I want to grab those from a marketing initiatives document. And when I share those things from the marketing initiatives document, it's going to then aggregate, extract from that and predict what goals might be applicable. There, I can now add these to Microsoft Viva goals. I can refine them further by talking uh, with the Copilot more. And again, you see this idea of taking things like Office applications and the Copilot for Microsoft 365 experience and blending it quite seamlessly with Microsoft Viva. Now, this doesn't mean you have to use Microsoft Copilot uh, or Copilot for Microsoft 365 to get these outcomes. Of course, there are Copilot experiences in each of the Viva applications. But when you combine them in this way, it all of a sudden makes the same applications and experiences in Viva that much more accessible. And here's the kicker. We know that the best way to roll out Copilot is to target those users who have high digital debt and could really benefit from it first so that they can be your influencers, your stakeholders, and your champions. Think of it like this, the people 
who drive the most collaboration value and impact in an organization is often a really small percentage of the organization. And so if we can give them tools like Copilot, the ROI is gonna be really significant because any time we give them back means they're gonna be able to impact and help more people. What's more is we know that those same people are the ones that you should target for say Teams Premium, giving them capabilities for Teams Premium to make them more productive because they often organize a lot of meetings and they have a lot of benefits they get from Teams Premium. They're the same people that you give Viva uh, Suite to, the same people that have the capabilities where they need Viva Insights Premium to improve their productivity, or they need Viva Goals to coordinate and collaborate uh, around prioritization across the organization more, or they're the same people that really benefit from you know, being active participants in sharing and creating uh, learning uh, collections and academies and other types of material because they create teams and they create SharePoint sites and they create a lot of um, coordination and, and support around learning uh, and behaviors across the organization like that. And the list goes on and on. They're the same people that should be leaders in Viva Engage. The same people who are capital L and lowercase l leaders in Viva Engage that might want to run AMA events or benefit from the new leader reports that you get within uh, you know, Viva Engage are the same people who would probably do multi-channel distribution of communication. Again, communicating across many places with Viva Amplify. So the Viva suite directly aligns with the same users that you're often going to target with Copilot. And because of that, thinking about how they work together and the ways in which we can lead with Copilot, help people understand how they can transform the way they work, and then introduce through that Copilot experience many of these Viva uh, capabilities is a really, really rich and interesting value proposition. And we're early in our, our uh, processes, but we're already seeing how these these correlated experiences can make a world of difference. So I hope this has been a bit insightful for you. Uh, if you're excited about how uh, Microsoft Viva can enhance the Copilot for Microsoft 365 experience, then I'm right there with you because I think there's so much more we can do uh, with these tools when they're paired together.